In today's video, I will be showing you how to configure MSI Afterburner and Rivia Tuner to display what your system is doing within a game. You can choose what statistics you would like Rivia Tuner to display over your game. You can have it show your FPS, you can have it show what your CPU is currently doing, you can also have it display the temperatures, there are just so many different options. But the first thing you need to do is install MSI Afterburner and Rivia Tuner. If you haven't done so already, I will put a link in the description below to a video that I've done showing you how to do this. And before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this. And it would be amazing if you could help us hit that 50,000 subscriber mark. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up MSI Afterburner. Once you have MSI Afterburner open, you now need to open up Rivia Tuner as well. And Rivia Tuner may be opened in the background in your system tray. Once you have Rivia Tuner and MSI Afterburner open, we now need to adjust a few different settings. So to start off with, we will take a look at Rivia Tuner. So I'm just going to minimize MSI Afterburner for a second. Rivia Tuner allows us to change how the overlay looks and we can also change the application detection. I always like to have this on high so it will most likely detect the game that you are currently running. The next thing you want to do as well is make sure on-screen display support is on. The next thing you're going to want to do is also change the on-screen display soon. As you can see this is what it currently looks like. If I was to drag this bar all the way to the right, it will then change the size of the text within the game on the overlay. Depending on what resolution you are using will depend on what the text actually looks like. You can also change the position of where you want the overlay to be. You can have it in the top right hand corner, top left, the middle, bottom left, you can have it anywhere. You also need to make sure you have show on screen display turned on as well. So the next thing you're going to want to do as well is now open up MSI Afterburner. Once you have finished playing around with the settings in here. Once MSI Afterburner is open, you now need to click on the settings cog. And you then need to click onto monitoring. This is where we can choose what we'd like to have displayed within our games. As you can see, there are so many different options. We have frame rate, GPU temperature, GPU usage. If we scroll down more, you've got memory usage. There are just so many different options. You can see we have CPU there as well, loads more different options. And we also have frame rate average, maximum, minimum. So you can now choose which options you would like to have displayed within your game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select an option. As you can see, I have frame rate currently selected. And if you then look below, you can then change the settings for this graph. So basically anything that says in OSD means it will display on the overlay. So to change an option, you need to make sure this option here is selected, show on screen display. So if I select FB usage and select this option, it now says in OSD. So that means that option there will display. If I go back to frame rate, we can then also click on these three dots next to text. And you can then change the color and stuff of the text for the frame rate option only. If we close this option down and we scroll down a little bit more, we can also click on override group name and we can change this to FPS. And instead of it showing the app name, so it would have said D3D, it will now say FPS and we can also change the graph name to FPS as well. I'm actually going to go ahead and change this back by deselecting it and then press apply just so you can see what it does actually show within the game overlay. You will notice it says D3D and then the FPS value. So once you have gone through and simply changed the options you would like to display in game. So if I just go down a little bit more. We've got CPU power. I could turn that one on as well and press apply. 
Once you have gone through and selected what you'd like to display, the next thing you want to do is also change the position of where they are. So for example, CPU power right now would be above frame time. If I want frame time above CPU power, all I need to do is simply hold down and drag it above. Once you have finished choosing the positions of all the graphs, we can now go ahead and press apply and OK. I'm now going to go ahead and launch a game and show you how it looks. To display the overlay in games, you do need to have MSI Afterburner open and Rivia Tuner Statistic Server. They both need to be running at the same time, otherwise you won't get the overlay. Okay, so as you can see, I've now opened up a game and the graphs are all showing. We have our FPS at the top, we then have GPU temperature, GPU usage, and then we also have our CPU statistics and the RAM at the bottom. If you'd like to put some of the statistics next to each other, so perhaps you want GPU temperature and the usage on the same line, then we need to open up MSI Afterburner again, and we then need to click on the settings cog, and you now need to click on monitoring, and you then need to find the option, so GPU usage, and we actually want to go ahead and change the group name. So as you can see, it says GPU usage. We want to use the same name as the GPU temp. So I'm going to go ahead and copy, go on to GPU usage and paste, and now go apply. And as you can see, it's now added that line to the GPU temp. But we still have another GPU usage. So if we want to put that onto the same line as well, we need to go back onto settings, monitoring, and you then need to find the option in the list. So GPU usage, it's not that one or that one, but it is actually the memory usage. If we then paste in the group name again, GPU temp and press apply, and you can see that has moved up line as well. So a top tip when doing the overlay for MSI Afterburner and Rivia Tuner, I find it a lot easier to actually have a game open in window mode like I currently do now and then play around with the settings. For example, the text right now as well, I could change all the colors and everything and I can view it as I'm changing it. It just makes life a lot easier. You can also open up Rivia Tuner and while you've got the game running, you can actually change the on-screen display. There you go, as you can see, it's updated. I can also change it to small. It just really does make life a lot easier rather than having to keep alt and tabbing out of a game or closing a game down and then open it again. I hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.